how do you define right people? Uh, what are the characteristics do you look for when you are hiring a key person for one of your portfolio companies? There's a, there's a great book uh, by Daniel Kahneman called Thinking Fast and Slow. And in this, he talks about interviewing people and how in the early part of his career he had this experience in the uh, Israeli military where they would uh, interview officer candidates and judge them by their future potential as leaders. And he talks about the experience of being very confident about uh, their prognosis for each and every person that they were evaluating and goes on to say that this data was tested you know, because as the years passed, they saw what those people actually did. And he found that they were spectacularly wrong in, in their, uh, their, their predictions about who was going to be successful. And so on the one hand, you could say, gee, maybe interviewing is a worthless enterprise. And you can you know, just flip a coin anyway. But that's not actually what Kahneman ends up saying in the book. And he says that rather than getting caught up in the feeling and the emotion and the, the, the personal chemistry connection that you have with a person, uh, that you have more of a structured process of questions that you ask each and every one of them, and you try to find some kind of objective measure. And no objective measure is going to be complete, but his, I think the point of the book is that having that as your basis is going to give you better, more sound judgments. So for example, in hiring salespeople, uh, that which is a notoriously difficult thing. There's always turnover, and it's look, sales is, is, a, is an art, and it's hard to you know to sell a new product in a new category when when the thing is half baked to begin with. So you know one of the things that we look for is, is past success. So it, it will be very common for us to say we'd like to see the last two or three years of your W2s, and we want you to pitch us in a sort of role play scenario, uh, so you can actually see how they're selling, not kind of stories, not you know, philosophies of selling, but just the experience of how they're selling. So that would be you know, looking for evidence uh, and, and being able to do things in more structured interviews is the ideal. Um, that said, <clears throat> when I was younger, I would say that my ability, because I didn't have that much experience, my ability to judge a superior candidate from a you know, middle candidate was let's say whether it's engineering, management, sales, marketing, what have you, was um, I had less experience, I had less ability to do it. I, I knew so many fewer people, so I didn't, I, references were, were often cold and, you know, meaning I had no other connection with them. So they, they weren't necessarily always, uh, you know, the, the most transparent that you could get. Um, and at that point, the advice I have for people who don't, you know, who are earlier in their careers is, have lots of people interview, people that you trust interviewing that person, and then synthesize and find you know, what these common, common um, experiences were. Uh, now, however, the, with the benefit of having a really big network um, and a lot of people you trust looking out for you and, and vice versa, um, you're able to you know, find people who are already, have already passed through so many different hurdles, whether they've worked for someone, you know, a friend's other company and said that guy was terrific or this woman coming in that had, uh, uh, you know, that knows two or three of your board members already, th that definitely gives you such a huge advantage versus, you know, starting off cold with no network. And um, so I would say references um, and, uh, and having more structured interviews are, are, are the key for us.